Hi guys, um, this is skill 6.28, changing an ostomy appliance. Okay, so um, how do we start this? We gather our equipment. What equipment do we need? Okay, well first of all, hand sanitizer and gloves. Hello, you're working with stool, right? <laughs> okay, you're going to need a new appliance. Okay, so find out what what kind of appliance your your patient is using. Um, this one is a two-part system, so we're going to make sure that we have a two-part system. Okay, um, we're going to need a, uh, a graduated cylinder. Okay, graduated cylinder. Why? Because we need to empty the stool out first. Okay, toilet paper. Why do we need toilet paper? Okay, well first of all it's a bowel movement, okay, that's a colostomy, it's a bowel movement, toilet paper. Uh, second of all, um, you know, we can clean the stoma with, with toilet paper, okay, so we want to make sure that we have some toilet paper. We uh, may need a wash basin, a washcloth, and a towel, okay, uh, to clean up the area. We may need that, okay, so make sure that's on hand, okay. Um, a measuring grid, oh, yeah. We're going to need that measuring grid, okay, uh, to change that, uh, the wafer in here. Uh, we're going to need to measure the stoma, okay. Um, we may need skin barrier, okay. Remember I told you about that um, uh, paste, right, okay. So um, we may need skin barrier and um, we, we are going to need um, scissors, okay, scissors. All right, so those are the equipment that we would need. So we did hand hygiene. We'd put on clean gloves. We'd do all of our wipes of stuff. We'd get our patient in a comfortable uh, uh, position um, in order to assist with uh, changing of the colostomy. Now this could be a lying down position or it could be a sitting up position. Could be a standing position over the toilet too, right? Okay. All right, so um, we're going to unfasten the belt if the client was wearing one. Okay, so some people that are up walking around um, put a belt on. Um, it goes around their waist, and it holds this bag in, uh, it on, okay, in place. Um, because as stool collects in this bag, it gets heavier and heavier, and it has a chance of, of breaking away from, from the seal, okay? So when you look at these... I'm going to take this off. When you look at these, um, these have little connections on it. See this right here? Um, that a belt would connect on. Um, and the belt would be elasticized. that would go around the waist. You could cinch it tighter. Um, and then it would just have little buttons that would snap into um, these holders here, okay? So if there was a belt in place, you'd, you'd obviously remove that, right? Okay. Um, let me put this back on, sorry. All right, so uh, the bag is on. Um, we've unfastened the belt. We're gonna empty the pouch. So we're gonna drain the pouch, right? What could I do in order to minimize the, the potential of making a mess? You're right. We could also have a chucks, okay? We could have a chucks down for those of us with a penchant for making a mess. And that's me. Um, we could put a chucks down as a barrier to keep our uh, bed linen and our patient clean, right? Okay, so we have the chucks. We're going to drain the bag. So we're going to push in on that tab, pull up on the arm, remove the lock, keep it, and drain the bag, okay? We're going to, wow, this does not want to, there we go, if I put the bag on correctly, there we go, drain into our graduated cylinder. You may need to, you know, help the stool down into the graduated cylinder, okay? And it's as simple of just, you know, um, pushing the stool down into the cylinder. So... You're saying, okay, I've got poop and it's all over the end of this bag. Um, what do I got to do about that? 
Oh, and I'm supposed to put a lock on there and there's stool all over it. So what could you do? Well, you could take some toilet paper, right? So take some toilet paper and wipe off this bag, okay? Wipe it off, get that stool off of there, okay? You could take a wet wipe like you would, uh, you know, use on somebody's behind, okay? Um, and wipe that stool off of there, okay? Put that in the garbage or in the toilet or whatever. Now, if you were leaving this on um, and just draining and just draining the ostomy bag, all you would do is uh, put the lock back on, okay? Just like that. Now, if you're removing the ostomy after you've drained it, you don't have to put the lock back on, right? Right? Okay. So then, what you do is you go up to the ostomy connection part, find the the tab to help you remove it and pull back, okay? And now this whole ostomy can go right into the garbage, okay? All right, so now we have our ostomy on our patient. Um, and as you can see, there's a little bit of stool on the ostomy and that's, that's okay um, because, you know, it's the intestine, right? So <coughs> some ostomies will leak um, um, stool um, for the entire time that you're doing uh, an ostomy change, okay? And so you may have to um, put some toilet tissue over um, the ostomy um, while you're doing that. Some, some are not. Some just need uh, a gentle cleaning off, okay? If the patient wants, you could at this point, um, you know, wash off the ostomy as well, okay? All right, the stoma, excuse me. All right, um, if we were just going to instill a new bag on here, um, we would um, go ahead and just feed the new bag onto the, the holder, okay? The bag is on you would make sure that the lock is in place, okay? And the patient would be ready to go. You'd reconnect the belt if they had one and the ostomy would be ready, okay? So let's just pretend that we have to um, change the wafer as well. That's, you know, um, not sticking well to the patient or uh, it's got stool on it and it just needs to get changed, okay? So how do you remove it? Just like any other dressing, um, you're going to loosen it away from the skin of the patient, okay? You're going to pull up around the edges. Easy not to cause a skin tear, okay? All right, now you remove this wafer and it goes into the garbage, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is um, provide some care, okay? Um, with a washcloth, some, some uh, warm water, and we're just going to wash the skin off around. We're gonna be assessing the skin uh, making sure that, you know, it's intact. If there's redness, we may, we may want to document that. Let the doctor know, okay? We're going to dry it off. And we're going to look at the stoma. Like I said, the stoma should be what? That's right, a nice beefy red. If it's not and in, in it's like pale or whatever, it could be signs of, of um, you know, something happening. So we want to make sure that we uh, document that. How are we going to know if that's a normal color for them? The patient is going to know, okay? So you could ask them, all right? All right, so now we've cleaned it, we've done all the care, okay? And now we need to put a new, a new device on, a new uh, wafer, okay? So we're going to get our grid, our measuring grid, and we're going to try. Oh, no, too small, right? Too big. Well, this one's way too big, right? Okay. Yep, too big, too big, too big. 
Oh, this one looks just about right. Yeah, that one's perfect. Okay, so one and a half inches or 38 millimeters, okay? Then we would take our new wafer. Sorry, hold on. There. We would take our new wafer, okay? We would turn it over. We would put our paper and we would draw for uh, get a circle on there okay see that circle that I've drawn on there can you see it whoops okay and then we would cut the wafer to the appropriate size all right there you go so once the wafer is cut to the appropriate size you take and place it Oh, first of all, you'd make sure if any stool has has come out, you would wipe it off, okay? Because we don't want to get stool on here. We don't want to get stool on here because we want it to stick, right? So we're going to make sure if there's any stool or whatever, you've wiped off the area again, okay? All right, and then you're going to place it over the stoma. And you're going to work that wafer around the stoma and get it nice and firmly connected to the skin, okay? And then you're going to push down on the adhesive and make it a nice smooth, as smooth as possible uh, adhesive to your patient's skin. Now you can work with this uh, wafer inside here with the warmth of your fingers and the warmth of your patient's body. It becomes more pliable and you'll be able to um, smooth it out and um, get it to really go around the stoma. You know, you want as little skin as possible showing, okay? If you can't get that wafer um, to to move where you want it to, you could always use the paste, okay, and put the paste in and fill in that hole, okay? Because remember, we don't want any skin um, to um, be exposed because the stool and the bile in the stool will cause um, skin breakdown, skin irritation, and we don't want that to happen, okay? And then it's just put the bag on your patient, okay? Do I have the right bag? No, I do not. Sorry, hold on just a moment. So then you put the bag on your patient, okay? Feed it right around. Remember, this is on a patient's body, so pushing on it is their belly, okay? So you have to be careful. You may have to go around like this and make sure that it's on, okay? All right, it's nice and on. Then you're going to go to the end, the opening, okay? You're going to put your lock on. You're going to put the lock, put the bag over it, swing the arm down and lock it into place. And there is the colostomy, okay? If they had a belt, you'd put the belt on them. You would clean up your supplies, okay? And you would document. Take off your gloves and all that other fun stuff. Make your com patient comfortable, you know all that. Okay, so that is skill 6.28, changing an ostomy appliance emptying a drainage pouch. Okay, thank you.